Hi everyone and welcome to another lockdown lightsaber tutorial with Solaria lightsabers. This time we're going to be talking about grip. Now, I already talked about grip a little bit in my low whip tutorial. You can check back and have a look at that. But this is an absolutely essential skill. So while this tutorial may not be as flashy as, for example, the low whip, it is absolutely essential that you take the time to watch this and really get your grip sorted out because then you'll be set up for success for everything we do after this. But if you sort your grip out, this will save you so much time and trouble getting all the techniques and most importantly, it will keep your wrist safe. Grip is the difference between using the weight of the weapon, whether it's a lightsaber, sword, whatever it is, the weight of the weapon to your advantage and not straining your wrist unnecessarily and a sprained wrist. You, through practice, have probably already found out that there's a lot of pressure happening around this bit. So I really wanted to do this really basic tutorial to help you blaze through what we're gonna be doing next. Let's get started. So what we naturally wanna do when we grip a lightsaber or a sword or another melee weapon is do a hammer grip. We wanna grip it tight because we don't want it to fall, we don't wanna lose control of it, we want it to have a firm hold of it. This is actually really detrimental to lightsaber techniques, sword technique, anything like that. You need to have the ability to manipulate this as fast as possible to outmaneuver your opponent. Now, if you're essentially holding this kind of deathly hammer grip, you lose out on a lot of flexibility, maneuverability. This is about as far as it's gonna go. I can't even really point it without really, really straining my ears. You don't really wanna have it like that. Not only that, all of my arm is straining to keep this death grip. Um, it's not fast, it's not maneuverable, even blocking or taking hits on this is going to transfer more strain onto your wrist. So what you really want to do, and I was taught this uh, from a HEMA instructor, is you want to look at your hand and you see this, I just hit it, you see this lifeline. What you want to do is roughly place the saber along your lifeline. You can even go further up, whatever you prefer. And then wrap your hand around it, but you're only going to really be controlling it with your thumb and forefinger. What this allows you to do is to get a lot more maneuverability out of your lightsaber without actually straining the wrist. I can do this with barely actually moving or bending my wrist. I can point it without having to completely bend and, and hurt my wrist. If, if you are in full extension and something hits it, you're going to be in a world of pain. And we don't want that, we gotta keep training, right? So it can help you pump through a spin, help bring the lightsaber back and under control. It can help make a slash more controlled and finish exactly where you want it to. And the same thing applies if you want to have a two-handed grip. You can see my lightsaber is more than big enough to wield two-handed. And that's the same principle. If you're going to use your lightsaber as a two-handed weapon, make sure you grip the pommel right here and you use that, but you still don't choke the lightsaber. We call this choking the saber, choking the sword, because you're not allowing it to go where it wants to go. So with this, you can actually just use it as a lever and you actually remove even more strain from your wrist. I really, really want you to practice opening up before you move on to further tricks. I want you to have, to have this down because it will make sure that your wrist stays healthy and okay and you're not putting unnecessary strain on it but you're also being fast and efficient. You realize that once you can, once you control the lightsaber with just these fingers, you can do a lot more stuff and not get tired. It's so important. So please don't skip this lesson just because it's not as fancy. This is essential work. We will be coming back to it all the time, I promise you. 
And whenever you get lost, come back to this tutorial and practice again. Any questions, please just tweet me, message me, show me your progress, let me know how you're getting on, and I'll see you in the next one.